Hey everybody, it's April 2nd, which means it's day two of the A to Z challenge. And today it's the letter B. So throughout this month, I am doing the A to Z challenge, which of course is 26 videos, but I'm also doing VEDA vlog every day in April. Now that brings us to 30 videos, but today we're going to continue with the story. And this is the letter B and it picks up right where the last part left off. So let's continue our adventure on Ariadne with B, and this is titled The Botanist. The location is Ariadne, the plains west of the Takahashi Mountains. Twelfth day, third month, first year after colonization, Ariadne era. Malika Said gazed up at the tree. She stood an arm's length from the base in awe at the trunk. 1,168 meters tall and 107 meters wide. How can this be? The pressure must be immense. She knocked on the wood, her knuckles stinging. She massaged her hand, then ran her fingers along the trunk as she slowly walked next to it. Magnificent, she whispered. Doctor, said Sheila. It's incredible. You say you found this on a satellite image? Sheila nodded. It was very obvious. I had no idea it would be a single tree. I need a sample of the wood. She glanced around and found what she was looking for. Dragon? The dark-haired man stirred from his daydream. Yes, doctor? Can you get a sample of this wood? I'd like to analyze it back at the office. How much? Maybe a cubic meter block? I think you'll need the laser cutter. This is hard as rock. Dragon nodded. I'd love to get up top, Malika said, as she let her eyes wander back to the canopy a kilometer above. Magnificent, whispered Sheila. Malika regarded her a moment, and the corner of her mouth lifted into a smirk. Truly. So we continue with the tree here, and uh, Sheila is back. She was the artist in part one. This time we are introduced to Malika Said, who is the botanist. Uh, she is actually a character from Journey to Ariadne, which is my ongoing, uh, it's not really a book, it's it's an, I guess you could, talk, you could call it a web serial. Uh, but she is one of the lead scientists in the Ariadne project before going to Ariadne. And she is the top expert on botany on this planet now. The other character, Dragan, he's minor. He's, he's not exactly a major player in this. Uh, he's not going to appear later on at all. So we learn a bit about this tree. It is rock hard, which kind of makes sense considering how tall it is, how big it is, how much mass would be in that. There'd be so much pressure, it, it would have to be really hard and strong material. So this wood is incredibly hard. And as they said, you need a laser cutter. So that's going to be uh, pretty interesting. If this was real, that would be an incredible wood to try to work with but you'll see what happens in later parts. Let me know what you think of the story in the comment section below. I hope you're enjoying it as much as I enjoyed writing it. It was definitely a lot of fun to write. Uh, coming up next is, of course, the letter C, which continues on the story about the wood. If you like this video, then please give it a big thumbs up. And if you want more updates on this story, as well as future videos about my writing, then please consider subscribing down below and check out those videos over there. I think you'll like some of those. We'll see you in the next video, which is tomorrow.